Tonight, the city of Grapevine let angry community members weigh in on two former city employees who now stand accused of spending thousands of taxpayer dollars on things like football tickets and shopping sprees. Alexis Wainwright was at that special city council meeting where the biggest question seemed to be, how did this go unnoticed? I don't understand how that happens. And to me, as a resident and taxpayer of Grapevine, that's a real slap in the face. People are sharing their thoughts after two independent investigations concluded former director of Parks and Recreation Kevin Mitchell and former director of Libraries Ruth Kiego used more than $58,000 of city funds for personal use. If we don't keep pushing it and get some answers, um, then it's going to happen again. We'll get a lot of people applying for the city of Grapevine because they'll know they can get away with a lot of stuff. So it's got to stop. A packed house for Grapevine City Council meeting Tuesday to hear the latest breakdown on how this could have happened. What I heard today was that these audits that we do are not fully comprehensive. Uh, what I heard today is that the checks and balances is mostly based on trust. And I think that the citizens of Grapevine deserve a lot more than a trust policy. If you look at your report, an internal investigation using a third party form says Mitchell used $33,000 of the city's money and Kiego used $24,000. The investigation first reported by the Fort Worth Star Telegram found Mitchell brought football tickets and Apple products. Kiego brought furniture and thousands of dollars in Amazon purchases. The city released this statement nearly two weeks ago saying the city of Grapevine takes its responsibility as the fiduciary of taxpayer dollars seriously. Following that audit in February, Kiego resigned and Mitchell went into retirement. We have a very competent city manager here and we have city councils that want to do the right thing. So when we hear that someone resigns after embezzling money, my question is why weren't they just fired for misconduct? City Council was not told about the investigation until the two employees left. They too trying to figure out how they missed this. And now city leaders are introducing an updated approval process for employees using city funding. Both former employees agreed to pay back the amount of money that was tied to personal use. They have nine months. The city says that Mitchell has already paid in full. The city manager admits that the city could have gotten it wrong when it comes to the amount of money that was spent. It could be more than what was mentioned in the report. Reporting in Grapevine, Alexis Wainwright, CBS 11 News. Alexis, we thank you.